All right, so let me start this thing off by saying that I am not a welder and I am not gonna be showing you how to weld because that would be like the blind leading the blind. In fact, it would probably be like the blind leading some of you who could probably already do it. I don't know how to weld very well. I'm just learning. Um, I mean, I've learned enough to get myself in trouble, I guess. So I'm finished welding this thing up and I guess really all I wanna talk about is that, uh, you know, something that I've dealt with with this build and you can do a lot of the stuff that you think you cannot do. Learn it, learn how to do it. Uh, you know, force yourself, make yourself try. You'll never get better at something if you don't try it. So I'm not gonna show you my welds because they look like a mess, but uh, I'm, I'm finished welding this rock solid motorsports kit. And is it gonna be perfect? No, is it gonna be show quality? Absolutely not. I mean, I, I can't even now show you the, the dimes that Steven needs stacked or Joey actually, I don't know who, who welds the bars onto the plates. They absolutely kill it, like, t like amazing. You know, I've not been doing this long at all. I've, I've not TIG welded for maybe like an hour tops. And if, if the dog doesn't get away from the hot weld, it's gonna end up getting popped. You need to chill, bro. So, you know, but, but with this car, I have learned to do a lot of the stuff on my own. Uh, I've not relied on a shop to do much, really just the engine work. And I should have let them do more of that because even I tried with some of the stuff and you know, it is what it is. It, you, you will never learn if you do not try. You'll never succeed at it if you don't just try. Uh, rear anti-roll bar, I welded it in myself. I was gonna pay somebody to do it and uh, I couldn't get the time to take it down to him. So I was like, you know, I can, I can, I've got a welder. I bought a, you know, I bought a welder or actually my lovely wife bought me a welder for Christmas, which was an amazing gift. Um, it's a TIG, Alpha TIG 201 XD. It's a super awesome gift. She, she did an amazing job. Uh, you know, I ordered it and she paid for it. One of those type deals. So, you know, I was like, I might as well try this thing. Now, I will show you, the, the way that this works is, is, I mean, this is my weld. Is it pretty? No. Is it gonna hold? You're dang straight. It'll hold. So, but I, I decided, you know, I can go out after work, uh, you know, after I eat and, and play with the kid and everything and, and talk with the wife, go out for a couple hours and weld on it and get it done. And I did, and it works. It hasn't broken yet. Will it break? Possibly. Um, but I will tell you, one of the persons who I would say pushed me, and, and he doesn't even know it because it's a YouTuber, is Turbo John. He, you know, his car, I saw what he did with his welds. His, he'll tell you his welds aren't perfect, but they hold. Are they the be most aesthetic? I mean, his are better than mine. But in him doing that, in him saying, you know, I do a lot of my stuff, the way that I save my money is I do a lot on my own. And the same way I've seen with Shannon Young with Bloodbath, um, with a lot of those guys out of that similar camp, Brian, I think, is the name of the guy that runs, I think, is, is it B and, B and K? Something like that. And, you know, they do a lot of the stuff their own selves because, you know, they've learned how to do it. So... That has pushed me to say, you know, let me take the time, let me let me do this stuff on my own. I mean, the shop Stephen Eads didn't get good by not doing it. He did it by, you know, sitting behind a welder or behind a welding helmet and learning how to do it. Uh, Nigel with Small Time Small Tire, Nigel with it, he, the Small Time Small Tire is his channel. He's with Brutal, Brutal Speed and Tuning brutal yeah brutal that's right i'm it's bst brutal speed and tuning that's right he does a lot of fab work they built an amazing car and you know i remember when he was just tuning srt4s and he's gotten better and better and better and he didn't do it because he didn't try he had a you know he learned a lot of stuff and he became better at it but if you don't ever try i don't have the money to be able to drop this car off with some shop and say make it turnkey i just don't i don't have the abil the ability to plus it's not that fun uh for me i enjoy building it i mean as much as i do anything i could have left the front end alone 
fix the motor, put it back in. But I'm wanting to have a better turbo kit. I'm wanting more room. And I was, I'll be honest with you, I got motivated by Steven Eads with Rock Solid, seeing his stuff and seeing, you know, his, his awesome kit and Turbo John and Shannon Young, seeing those guys struggle and push and just build their cars. And so if you're not following them, if you're following me, uh, which is not usually normal, but go over to Turbo John and uh, Bloodbath Racing. Both of those two channels are amazing. I absolutely enjoy the crap out of them. There's a couple other ones, um, and I can't even think of those right now, that have really pushed me to be able to do something like this. I, I would have never in a million years chopped the front end off of a car and, and put a tubular front kit on it. And, you know, after I got some, some welding experience by doing like the charge pipe and different things like that, and a lot of the people who push me uh, like just on my Facebook and Instagram who are like, you make it, do it yourself, do it yourself, do it yourself. You know, some things, I'm not a good fabricator. I can't do it. This is already prefab. It's, it's hard to mess up. And the parts that I'm gonna mess up can be repaired or, you know, I can, I can fix it. Not, it's not that big of a deal. So, you know, this is gonna be a, a talking head type of video. You're not gonna see a lot. Uh, if this is your first time on the channel, this is my 1979 Mercury Zephyr four-door small block Ford turbo it was blow through we're now going fuel injected and uh, I'm putting a bigger turbo on it and so I wanted the room to be able to work on it and do things so I put the rock solid motorsports tubular front kit and um, I'm you know it's it's a work in progress for sure uh, my fit up on the frame rails is terrible but you know if I would have done a better job on the fitment even my terrible welding wouldn't look so bad. Now, my fitment sucks, and so the welding's gonna look like it sucks, so it is what it is. I'm not worried about it too much. It is a janky pile, but it will hopefully be fast in the long run. Um, we'll see. I've got some awesome parts over here. You know, I, I've really, this this year's been been awesome. Uh, I've got a, we've got a, had people who've supported KSGV Motorsports, the channel, and the business and it's been amazing it's been awesome um so i mean i'm pretty pumped and uh i'm proud of myself for being able to do something like this uh it I, i'm not very confident when it comes to certain things and i'll i'll beat myself up for it and then finally i'll be like you know what uh, i mean I, I do i'm a plumber by trade that's what i do daily you will never become good at one if you don't have the confidence to just jump into it and do it. You know, there's only so much that you can do. And at the end of the day, you can turn the water off and you, you'll eventually get the water to stop leaking. That's just a fact. So with this, you know, it's just metal and you're melting metal together. It is what it is. There's only so many things that you can get wrong. And it's not a life or death situation. I don't have, I'm not, uh, I'm not a surgeon. This is just a car. This is not a human body. It's not like I'm taking somebody's life into my hands. Now, I got to make sure this is safe because I'm going to race this and possibly wreck it at some point. So I don't want this thing to be so janky that it's dangerous. But I know that I can I can weld and put this thing together to where it is. It is well within. Uh, it is very safe. Let's just put it that way. It'll be very safe and it will not if anything's gonna break it will be the actual body of the car and not what I put together so this is also part of safety you know that 1979 front end right here that's it's this big old unit is not the best thing in the world it's uh, it's quite rusty and stuff of that nature so I'm pretty pumped about it you know I'm sorry about this being just a rambling head video but just know that you can do stuff like this it you I mean you can now I'm sure you have a friend or a buddy or there, there's enough people in this world that you can be able to talk to and, and get yourself in a position to do something like this. So, you know, I, I'm, I, this is like the second motor that I've ever built right here that's been small block Ford. Uh, the white car out here, my 2014 Mustang, was a stock motor and put some turbos on it. You can see it way out there. And uh, it's decently fast. It's nothing crazy. Fast is a relative term. But there's a lot of this on this car that I was gonna, you know, sub out. And now, like the mini tub, whenever I do a mini tub, am I gonna take it somewhere? I don't know. I'm not sure if I will or not. 
it is uh you know there's i've seen other people do it uh, a friend of mine local here did his own cut it out tacked it in and had somebody come in and weld it and now as i'm continuing to weld and get better and better i should be able to do that on my own so you know it's it's just you got to have confidence and i'll tell you you don't want to be cocky you don't want to be arrogant but life is about confidence and about you know you have to take risks without risk there is no reward and if you don't jump in to do something like this you'll turn around and you'll never have done anything in your life and i know cars are not life this is not life but then just in general in business in uh work in everything like that if you don't push yourself and if you don't aspire to be better you'll never get any better and so i'll never be able to get any faster if i settle and if i that's it you know that that's just how that is and so i look at everything as having some form of life lesson in it and something as stupid as a car can definitely have a life lesson in it i want to be able to finish this thing i want it to be done right and uh i want to be able to do it and and have some pride in it and so you know it, it this is you know there's a lot of money involved here uh, this is a, a four-door uh 70s you know crappy grandma car and i want to take it it's actually one of the most photogenic pieces of crap you've ever seen in your life so but i'm gonna do it you know i'm gonna run this thing i want this thing to eventually be a four second car in the eighth mile that's that's the goal eventually um we'll see you know but if i don't do it myself if i had somebody do it if you have the ability to pay somebody to do it right and you're just a driver or whatever it may be dude that is awesome that means you've put your effort in somewhere else and you're doing something else a whole lot better and so that is what it is i can't afford it right now with what i do but it uh you know i've got some gratification in doing it this way so you know no no shade thrown any which way if you have somebody build it or whatever the case may be you know i'm all for do what you do best and pay somebody else to do what you can't for sure that's absolutely the case you know if you aren't if you aren't able to at all do what you can do do it right and then let somebody else take that headache i'm i'm for that too but always be pushing yourself try new things and get things done so yeah, that's a whole lot of talking and a whole lot of nothing about this car, but it is what it is. I just wanted to bring another YouTube video to you guys, and I hope you hopefully you've stayed this long and enjoyed it. If you have, smash that like button and subscribe. I'd love to see a bunch of people in the comment section. Tell me what you're working on and what you're doing. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.